Kabotai, yesterday we started speaking about some of the halachot of clothing on Shabbat with regards to Borer. Another very interesting halacha that has to do with clothing on Shabbat is the halacha of Molid Recha, of creating a new smell. The Gemara in Masechet Beitzad of Kaflut Gimal, the Gemara says that both Rabbi and Rabbi Yosef say that if you have a cup filled with perfume, you're not allowed to pour it onto a garment on Shabbat because you are creating a new substance, a smell that wasn't there. The halacha is, you're not allowed to do that on Shabbat midar banan, that's asur, the Bet Yosef brings it down, as does the Ramah in Siman, Tavkuf Yud Aleph. Now, the Taz, uh, the Rabbeinu David Segal, writes in his Ture Zahav that the same thing would be uh, on a Ta'anit or on Yom Kippur, that the Kohanim would not be able to wash their hands with rose water. Because by doing that, they are being Molid Recha, they're creating a new scent. Nevertheless, Agaon Chacham Tzevi, Rabbi Tzvi Ashkenazi, he disagrees with the Taz and he says, no. There's a very big difference between what the Gemara speaks about and that case of the Taz. The Gemara is speaking about pouring perfume or any other scented object onto clothing. That sticks, that remains there for a long time. Once it gets into the fibers of the garments, it stays there. Whereas if you pour a scent, some sort of perfume or whatever it is onto your skin, that, you know, once you start sweating, it goes away very, very quickly. That's Rechon Odif. And therefore, many Acharim uphold the Chacham Tzavi against the Taz on this matter, as does Maran Zohan Abracha in Chazon Avadiya. La'alcha on Ma'aseh, it is permissible to put all sorts of perfume or even uh, deodorant or whatever it is on your skin on Shabbat. Skin here, that's all fine because it uh, really dissipates very quickly. The only issue is going to be to put it on clothing. So you just have to be careful if a person's putting on deodorant on Shabbat, that's mutar, but you shouldn't put it on when your clothing is on you because then uh, perforce it's going to get onto the clothing. You can put it onto, directly onto skin, onto your face, onto whatever it is, but um, if you're wearing clothing, you should really be careful and only do it first and then put, put your clothes on afterwards. Yom